Okay, in Lagos, a Nigerian artist creates playing cards featuring personalities from the ancient kingdom of Benin. Mr. Ozaze has created a deck of cards with culturally inspired playing cards. The cards feature historical personalities and classical artwork. He's only 25 years old, but Osaze Amadasu is working on what may be his crowning achievement at his workspace in Lagos, Nigeria. The drawing he's working on is of Obba King Esigye, who is known for his contribution to the emergence of bronze casting in the Kingdom of Benin in the 16th century. The deck of cards is similar to what you have in the French deck. So the king basically is the Obba of Benin in my design for the deck of cards. The queen is the queen mother, that's Queen Idia from the famous Festac 77 mask. And the jack is <coughs> the Iyase of Benin, as um, back then he was the general commander of the Benin army. Osaze, an architect, says he became fascinated with Benin's history and mythology while working on an academic project that required the design of an Oba Esigye themed park. He soon began using 3D software to replicate Benin artifacts as a hobby and that led to the idea of putting Benin's historical figures on playing cards. We've heard about the oral tradition stories, we know about the Benin bronzes, what other medium can we pass across the message and still push this tradition keeping in line with the values and the stories that were told, that we know. Osaze holds court regularly to get feedback from his contemporaries. A deck of Benin playing cards is sold for 5,000 Naira. He has sold 60 packs since he started promoting them in April. People that are not even Nigerians, like foreigners, they just got excited regarding the Benin deck, and I think it's a, it's a good step forward. I mean, we know Benin already has that dark side of the story from when the British invaded in 1897. So having people push and promote the story and represent it in new ways, is, it's, it's a good thing for me. The Benin Hall, including thousands of metal plaques showing intricately cast scenes from court life, as well as ivory and wooden carvings or recognized treasures of African art, was split across museums in Britain, mainly Europe and as far afield as New Zealand. <laughs>